Oh, no. Ab- NADA book. Repeat oh. that again. Get what? Get the NADA book for mobile homes. And it comes on a computer disc. You put it on there. You put the make model in the, what part of the country you're in, and it gives you the wholesale price of the trailer. It's a very good negotiating tool for buying them. It's also a very good negotiating tool for getting taxes down on the property when you go to the fight with the county. Hey. People will often, often wonder, how do you find that? There's a little tag that's on the side of the trailer. it will have the make, model, year, things like that. Just like a, It's like a little ID tag. Most people don't know that either. That, that's how you get that information. And then later on when we get finished, I'll talk about all the things of, of a mobile home house manufactured. Because I grew up in Elkhart, Indiana. The uh, oh, mobile, yeah. mobile home manufacturer, RV capital of the world, used to be anyway. So I have a little bit of experience in this realm of, of uh, manufacturing, transportation, and then also from the inspection world, being able to point out things good, bad, and ugly when you're looking at one. I mean, this, <coughs> this is like a giant fishbone. It's just a frame with walls. They, not even really two by fours in here. I mean, it's pretty, pretty uh, uh, inexpensively made, for lack of better words. And when, when you get finished with the all years, I'll yeah. get into the. And I'll go into that a little bit too. Once you got the NADA, that you might as well go to the TDHCA site. They have a mobile home uh, section. You just click on it, and TDA, it's right? TDHCA, Texas Department of Health and Community Affairs, or whatever it stands for. And you go to their website, click on the mobile homes, and then search for ownership. And you can search by ownership by location the label number or the serial number or the owner's name you just need one of those and as i said on the back of this trailer there's a label number and a serial number if you got that number the tdhea site will tell you where the home was manufactured where it sits who the owners were who's got any liens on it are they back taxes or not now i always check the county as well because some of these mobile homes have been moved. We had one that was moved from another county that had some back taxes. And there were some rules made in Texas. If the county didn't file the taxes before a certain date, those taxes were null and void. So we actually had those taxes erased. But you want to check the county website and just look up the location, see if back taxes are owed, and go to the TDHCA website and see if there's taxes or if there's any liens on the property. And if you do those two, you pretty much know that you're getting the property free and clear.